Stephanie is back. And when I mean Stephanie is back, I literally mean she is back from a four-week hiatus. Yes, she had to miss her last appointment. And I'm so incredibly proud she's only missing a pinky nail. So let's move on. She's got a lot of grow out. This is going to be a, a very satisfying fill for me. I love to take uh, a long time grow out and just take them down a little bit and just freshly refill them. I don't know about you, but I love it. So we're going to do that with my two-time course carbide safety bit. We're going to remove all the cat eye, clean out from under her nail, push her cuticles back, prep her natural nail area with my fine grit sanding band. Then I'm going to cleanse, dehydrate, and push her cuticles back even more with 100% acetone. Do I use it in place of a primer? No, I do not. So let's get some fresh liquid and fresh powder. Mmm, look at that. I'm going to use my chisel powder number 15B. Bingo! Give it a name, will you, Chisel? Come on, don't make me come up with names myself. Tap, tap, hoo! Oh, yes. Now, let me be transparent with you guys. With this powder, it sets differently than my sheer intense pink powder. So, what I do is I add a little bit of acetone to my monomer to help this powder set quicker because if not, it takes too long to set for me and I like to move quick. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna overlay her sheer intense intense pink powder with my chisel pinker powder okay for the look we're going for today where are you la, 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 la. be kind okay we're gonna do a base coat because we're gonna do be kind for my line from Sindara nails thank you Sindara nails I love them if you guys haven't checked out Sindara nails please do please do okay I'm gonna go in with my Sakura number two striper brush and I'm gonna start my Frenchy lines with this be kind this Be Kind Nude is just phenomenal because it's like a tannish, but it's like a pinkish. It's, it's just an all-around really, really good, perfect color for this look we're going for. It was an inspiration look. It's cow print, and it's done a little bit differently because it's got little dots and stuff around the cow print. And it's just really pretty, and it actually comes a little bit above the smile line. So I'm not really worried about having a perfect smile line, but it did come out pretty nice, okay? So we're going to start the smile line. We're going to come down with the big brush, and I'm going to finish that off cure it, then come back with my number seven millimeter brush from Sindara Nails, and I'm going to create some cow print and some little dots around each nail. This was a very, very cute and easy look, so if you're a beginner, give it a try and do it with any color you want. Cow print does not necessarily have to be black and white all the time. You, I'm sure you've seen a million pictures out there with different color cow print, cheetah print, whatever print. You know what I mean? You have to be creative and make it your own and try different things and watch how amazing it comes out and be very proud of yourself. After a matte top coat, here's the final look, guys.